it's, it's a post on community and it says uh he works at the like the country area like he's a teacher i think so a lot of the times he talks to the teachers like the principal and then he says that around there's a lot there aren't that many uh high school first grade high school students so last march they said there were 25 now there's only like 17 to 20 which means that 25 people drop out So then they actually say that the really, really smart people drop out of high school. It's like, what the heck? And that's actually been a popular news. And that you see a lot of dropouts in Gangnam. <gasps> really? So even just last year, 2023, there were 8,000 high school dropouts, first grade. Wow, oh, increased by 60.5%. So what's the reason? Ah, uh, it's because of non-STEM STEM fields. So like art, music, and um, physical, high-ed. Ah, so these kids have to be focusing on studying? But because they make you do like music, so tell them to practice like singing or tell them to do some like drawing or tell them to do like some phi ed activities, they don't feel the reason to go to school. And instead of going to school, they would rather just take the, the uh, examination and get to a better college. Wow, you are I think this is a little too crazy. So if they were to just drop out, then they can do whatever they want and only focus on like Korean, English, and math. So then a lot of like the high-end specs of students started to drop out. So regular high school can't do their work, it seems like. Also... So that's for why the high-end people, like high-end as in like those who get good grades drop out. Now, if there are also dropouts that's been increasing for the students who don't study well. <gasps> so if they just go to a normal or like 특성화가 뭐지? Like a special high school. They would usually see like 5 people drop out, but this year, there's 17 people that dropped out. So then they saw it and the reason why was they would rather just drop out in high school and work as a delivery guy. Oh. Wow. <gasps> so they would drop out in high school and work as a delivery you know, and so they would work till they go to uh, military. And if they do that, they would earn at least to eight eighty thousand dollars like Korean one, not exact like uh, conversion, but eighty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah. So eight hundred thousand one to one million one. <laughs> right? That's about 60k to 80k? Whoa. High scoring student. Thank you. Uh, GED is the name. Mm. So then... After that, they would go to the military and with the earnings that they have in military they are about to earn at least like what 80 like a hundred k is she 100 k early 20s in their early 20s so then with that money they would just start a business <gasps> oh my god yeah 120 usd so 
Oh. So if they were to just do the delivery business, their girlfriend, who's also in college, will just eat, hang out, play. Ah. So all the pretty girls in high school will already have a boyfriend that makes around $3,000 per month through delivery. And so when she's done with school, he will pick her up on her, you know, like, bike, take her to cram school, go smoke, play, eat, and then go home. <gasps> oh. So actually, a lot of people don't find a reason why. They should go to high school, is what this Korean um, community post is saying. <gasps> this would actually suck for a lot of teachers. But let's, let's look back. Let's look back at high school year. Because honestly, it's not a bad idea to drop out and just do this because you earn like if you believe in doing that is a good idea then I don't see a reason why yeah so it's kind of good that you be a little different but huh so I'm guessing if they were to just start a business it would be like a business in maybe like starting maybe like um cooking so owning a restaurant or like tattoo shop whatever etc etc um yeah so i think it's a great way for that these kids are learning it but the fact that they have to drop out to do this i would be a little yeah, I would be a little worried in terms of how the education is going on in Korea. But how is the education in U.S.? I honestly think just in general, education isn't doing a good job. Like, it's really hard to find a really good teacher. And, um... Oh yeah, the yogurt ice cream. We have to try the yogurt ice cream. Maybe we'll try that when we go out to the pop-up store, by the way. But yeah, oh. I think honestly, maybe for the like those who's not good at studying to drop out and do those type of business, maybe could see like that makes sense for me. Because uh, if they don't seem like they have potentials in education, um, you know, because education is not always the right way you should be on. It would be best to give them like maybe the right education that they would want if they really wanted to like start a business in like the Tanghuru or any type of dessert cafes and everything um maybe to have like a high school just des like for that field oh thank you Deb for the tier 1 sub thank you 감사합니다. but it's really upsetting to see maybe like the high end uh, um like the studious kids to do that and say, hey, you know what? I don't think high school is a good money you know, maker, right? That's basically what it's saying, right? So they're saying, uh, or no, sorry, I, I, I'm I, like kind of losing my train of thoughts. High school is like a good place to get education for me, for me to get into like Sky universities. So this is actually really shocking. Because it's smart. I'm not I'm not dissing these high school kids for doing this. I think it's very smart of them to do it. But at the same time, it's also saying that the education is not doing as well as they should be. So does this mean maybe this means that is education necessary? Do you guys think education is unnecessary for this to happen? Should we not, like, is there a reason to be in, like, at least high school or middle school? Yeah. 
So college, I think it makes sense not to go to, right? Or does it? Well, college is a little too expensive, but yeah. I look at more of this years ago, but public school, high school plays a part in preparing, preparing kids for assessment. There's other issues. Yeah. So do you think kids should drop out? Do you think kids should have their own ability to have to drop out of high school? So are you guys saying maybe up to high school it should be required? Or should it be then that people should make different maybe high school systems and keep maybe like the basic, like the normal one that we're used to, but then have like a different for those who wants to start a business after graduating high school and focus their education on more of those, like how to start a business, like what to do, like those type of field or, you know, like Tomoko, I think in Korean is our a field where they do more of like the electron like the like specialized high school like specialized field um if you want to be like a like an engineer like an operator and everything but oh this is this is pretty interesting and it's pretty shocking to hear this right so if you really know what you want to do, I think it's not a bad idea to drop out to pursue if it's necessary. But otherwise, education set you on a general path. The thing is, how do you know if that's what you really want to do? What if they regret that choice of saying that, you know? So, oh, this is hard. I think this is really hard to think of, to make a decision for. Yeah. <sighs> a famous Korean com com comedian said this. If you don't study, you work in a hot place when it's hot, in a cold place when it's cold. Yeah, so if you... So I think studying isn't a bad thing. But these kids are dropping out to become, like, to work at a delivery shop. Or deliver like as a delivery man, not dissing the delivery man's job. I think it's a very like useful, helpful job. But for high school kids to do this, because they're not gonna get the education. But then we should look into what these high school kids are being taught, right? So. Maybe they could do it like part time, but the fact that they drop out just to do the delivery, ah, oh, I would be a little. I think it's a little too worrying. Some. But I mean, higher education shouldn't be the only gateway. I totally agree with that. But I think they should at least get minimum education. And for them to drop off from high school first grade, not saying high school is being taught well as well. <laughs> like, maybe, I'm sorry if some of you guys are high school teachers. I, I, I bet you guys are doing fine. But there were definitely some teachers in my high school that I was like, wow. <laughs> Aw, right? So... Oh, you're a high school teacher? Yeah, I bet some of you guys are good, but I've definitely seen some high school teachers. And I, I bet some of you guys will agree on this, where I question their ability to teach students. Right? So, but then should we look into why these people are, you know, like, what makes these teachers not be that, you know, like, into teaching or... Because I've definitely seen like some scream or some teachers that, yeah, that worked, that won't work as hard as they maybe should be or stuff. So, well, hi, Cock. Long time no see. How have you been? But, 
If they get injured doing delivery, can they finish school or is GED enough? Actually, in Korea, GED is technically enough because you can get into college just by finish just by taking the the test. But Yeah, I think It shouldn't be this easy to drop out, especially those kids that are smart and that are dropping out because they think that school is a waste of time. And I've definitely heard this multiple times in Korea, those living in Gangnam area, they drop out of high school because what they're being taught in high school is worse, like they're not as helpful as what's being taught at cram school. So actually, Teachers aren't getting paid as much because cram school students are getting so much, like, so much money. So. Maybe it's because we're too old, too, at the same time. Maybe we are kind of like a boomer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes, if we're too boomers, we also often think to ourselves, maybe because we got experience of like life and then we want to teach these kids into a better route that we shouldn't be talking on other people's behalf or etc but yeah red flags they don't just get fast tracked for the high school equivalent diploma i think you could technically technically get the fast tracked but then you have to be a really high-end student but you know, like you have to be that like 0.01% to be on the fast track for high school. But these kids that are dropping out, they're maybe like 10% of the higher end. Still, still, they will drop out saying it's not helpful, which is really sad. There's... There is already existing issue of people thinking cram school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Korea, especially. Because cram school literally is like the cheat of getting into Sky. Korea top three. So it's kind of like a Korean Ivy League. We call that Sky, which is Seoul University, um, Korea University. And nowadays, they also include KAIST. Um, and then... Yonsei University. So if you are from any of these three schools, like people have pride. It's kind of scary. I, I mean, like, I guess people will have pride when they go to Harvard. But I don't know. Actually, my friend who went to Harvard is more modest than like Korean Sky. But anyways, um, so they have like their high. You know, like, I'm from. So, and so what these cram school does is they give you how you can ace the. Suna, which is the entrance exam or like the college entrance exam that happens once a year. However, high schools can't teach that to students because first of all, not everyone is in the same level. But so what they did differently in terms of that is so some of these high schools, you still have to enter like you still have to like interview and enter. So there are definitely like the high end high schools out there but still to this day it's <laughs> people will still drop out or because they didn't get into that high-end high school they will just drop out saying you know what instead of me just going to a regular school and taking the regular like studying thing i would rather get you know like i would rather get those type of education you know like study by myself instead of going to regular school and get my reputation lower so which is kind of unfortunate yeah they would just take the ged and then go to sat <sighs> oh could you do that but then at the same time, they would also be in those like really expensive um, things. Expensive cram schools, right? Uh, so, I don't know, I, I wish... This is, I think, when government 
governor government should be actually involved and try to tell people not to <sighs> drop out like somewhat of, somewhat of me should force high school students not to drop out but at the same time they should make or create something um so that these kids can get the education that they need in terms of what they want to do in the future also isn't helping out that people realize it's so easy these days to make money especially through tiktok instagram like back in my age when we wanted to get like money we would have to work like do part-time jobs nowadays they realize that if you upload videos like especially if you do like sexy stuff or like any type of dancing you can earn money if you get big and if you end up being like a quote-unquote influencer right so when people realize that then kids get in control of having a bit too much money at very young age thinking is education really needed so kind of like an unfortunate thing but oh yeah i mean i guess if they work they get into the social life faster if they dropped out especially i don't know about like the the studious kids but definitely for those who maybe work at the delivery because they'll have like a system of boss and customer so they know that they should hopefully they know what to do but yeah i worry on their I, that's why i think a lot of smart people um in general not just korea but a lot of smart people have a problem with talking to other people like they don't know that they are crossing the line or i also sense a bit of social like awkwardness through them i think through those who are very well educated because they've just been studying all their life so which is really unfortunate it's it's kind of unfortunate to hear about this they need skill and education yeah from china to canada in like non-international student rates in university i'm not surprised at that that happens a lot though <laughs> even that happens in korea they send students um out so i uh, shoot i'm not sure the drop uh working like this would Well, isn't child labor if you force them to work a very long time? So if you're forced to work 20 hours, twenty hours a week, right? Then if you if you work more than twenty hours a week, then that's labor. No. Wow. Well, Anyways, this is this seems to be like a problem. I want to see what they do in maybe US. Actually, I haven't seen Okay, I was I went to high school in I graduated in 2012 high school. So I went to high school 2008 to 2012. Right? So that was what? Whoa, 2008. It's so almost almost 20 years right and back when i was when i was in high school i don't think any of them would do like any delivery job or any kind of like a i mean like delivery job isn't like a sus job but something that really overworked themselves that they would be getting a lot of money for i think a lot of people maybe did part-time job the most I think people would earn money through would be like T 
teaching, at least among like the Asians, they would teach their younger kids through like mom's friend, and then um get some part time job money, like our teaching or I think yeah that I think I got the most money through gigs through Harp, but other than that, so. Yeah, maybe it's just that we have to look at it at a different perspective, guys. Because whatever we compare to, we're old. <laughs> we are old, so... Maybe this is the right thing. Maybe high school dropouts, it's okay. And then, like... We'll just be okay. We'll, we'll just be saying, you know what? Great job. Maybe... Maybe we believe that education is important, but the recent trend that have changed 20 years from when I studied high school is that actually high school education isn't required. Maybe there might be some type of article related to it and say, we don't need high school education or we don't need a education. We don't need to go to middle school. It's kind of pointless for you to go to, go to middle school. Then... Well, I guess we'll end up losing a lot of like high school, middle school teachers. So, yeah, I think it all began on how maybe teachers not being paid well, so their working criteria, working life aren't as good as they maybe should be. So then, Everyone who's maybe trying out for teachers are less less passionate on being teachers um, than they could be because you know I know money isn't related to happiness and everything, but it's still related to how you know like money still has a big part and like money has a big role on being happy, right? So maybe that's why the education system all around the world isn't as good as maybe it should be. Are they getting taught what they should be to um, work in any type of places or like leading up to college? Is education kind of helping out with, with your college stuff? Not really. Like you guys ask me questions about US history and I'm gonna be like I don't remember because I never paid attention to my high school uh, history class because it was boring and I'd rather learn it I'm actually learning more of US history through like you know like documentaries and those things than actually being in class sitting down making us read these books that were really boring right so if I think about it like that then yeah i can kind of see why these kids would drop out these kids are much more smarter than me than all of us because they have much better resources they have youtube videos that they can teach you um but they do have to do some fact checks but however yeah so kind of unfortunate situation that's happening in korea let me know if any other countries that you guys want to talk about related to this but overall general yeah overall in general I think, you know, government should relook into education system instead of, and I think that will be a really big part in making people's lives better. Because education should be a really big part of your life, no matter what type of education you're getting, whether that's math or English and everything. Let me see. Kids in uni now don't interact as much. They use dating apps and such now to despite them meeting so many people. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right? Cause like right now, not to diss any of my chat, as much as I love you guys for watching me and supporting me, like you guys, it's a um, Sunday evening and you guys are watching me not saying that's bad but it's like let's go out and social i mean most of my chat is pretty old and we like to just stay home and relax but in that sense we're kind of like is people kind of being antisocial? we could be i mean you guys are still talking to me and i could be antisocial. i actually said i don't like working with people so i'm working with people online right so
So in that sense, it's like, what are we doing about it? <laughs> a lot of play in Korea, losing students in those grades. Yeah, so it's sad. Kind of unfortunate. But hopefully when you guys have kids, um, I think, okay, so here's what's really funny though about these type of decisions. Um, whatever, whenever I read this type of thing, it gets me thinking, I'm 30. When I read this, I'm going to have a view on it from a 30-year-old as aspect. However, if I go back in time, let's say we have a time machine. If I go back when I was in high school and I read this, I would actually say to myself, that's really smart. I could become rich when I'm 20 and maybe really drop out and do delivery jobs. Because honestly... I don't think education is that important back in back when I was in high school. Although I worked hard because I lived in an Asian family, Asian household, I didn't really see a point of me learning U.S. history because they never taught you why you should be learning maybe history or mathematics. But I just knew that I had a reputation of being Asian that I should be smart in math. Uh, so then... If we take the time machine to a further time, let's say I have a child who's in first grade of high school. Now that's also a different story of this kid wants to drop out. What do I say to him? Do I say, hey, don't drop out. What the fudge are you talking about? Or do I, you know, like, uh, do I say, you know what? That's your choice in life. I will agree with whatever. I will support you in whatever you do. And yeah, I, I, I trust you because, you know, like, it's like, ah, uh, then you get to a point being like, oh, what should I do? <laughs> so, any life decision is really hard, I think. But whatever, whatever you make, whatever your kids make in the future of whether they want to drop out or whether they want to continue, I think it's a really hard decision. Anyways, this was today's uh, random topic that's happening in Korea. So thank you, Chad, for thank you, Mark, for giving me this. But yeah, I hope you guys really think about it. I think dropouts isn't a bad thing if you really know what you do. But at the same time, you would have to really talk to your parents and maybe the teachers on what your life goal is and how well you planned it before you drop out, or else, you know, like. I could see people regretting a lot and saying, and maybe if they regret it after maybe their business fails or some bad incident ha happens after their jobs or anything, then who are they going to blame? Like they'd have to only blame at themselves and kids get more hurt than I think at an older age because we're too tired to get, you know, to go through all that emotion and everything. So in that sense, you know, we got to protect them and help guide them, but also at the same time, not be in control of them. So yeah, this was a lot of things to think about, but that's all.